If you like knowing stuff, you're in the right place. Welcome back to another video in the U.S. Geography series. This is State Capitals Part 2, and please don't click off the video because these first few capitals are quite boring. Also, I changed the thumbnail of the series. If you care, shut up. Anyways, the first state is Montana. The capital is Helena, which has a population of 28,200. Due to the gold rush, at the end of the 19th century, Helena had more millionaires than any other city in the world. It still has a high concentration of millionaires today. Montana is one of the several states with natural hot springs, but Helena only has one. The next state on the list is Nebraska. The capital city is Lincoln, which has a population of 291,000. The Nebraska Cornhuskers play here. The only thing that's cool about the state. <coughs> 3-9. <coughs> The guy who plays guitar in Maroon 5 grew up in Lincoln. Charles Lindenberg, the famous pilot, learned how to fly here. The next state is Nevada. The capital city of Nevada is Carson City, with a population of 55,300. There is nothing interesting about this place. It's not Las Vegas. It has three major highways running through it. It became the capital in 1861. On to New Hampshire. Stupid British name. The capital is Concord, with a population of 42,700. This town is responsible for the worst invention ever. The 14th president of the United States, Franklin Pierce, was born here. Concord has the world's largest meatball. Moving on to New Jersey, whose capital is Trenton, with a population of 85,000. Surprisingly, the Battle of Trenton, which was a turning point in the Revolutionary War, took place here. This famous painting is also about this battle. The Declaration of Independence was first read in Trenton before Philadelphia. The city was also briefly the United States capital. Finally, an interesting city. Next is the state of New Mexico. The capital is Santa Fe, with a population of 68,000. It is the oldest capital city in the United States. The city is known for its creativity and art scene. Check out the Margarita Trail, which includes 45 different local businesses that craft margaritas for you. New York is up next, with a capital that is not important. This unimportant city is Albany, with a population of 98,000. Jimmy Fallon went to college in Albany. So did Herman Melville, who also lived here. Moby Dick, lol. Modern toilet paper was also invented here. The next state, North Carolina, has a capital of Raleigh, with 468,000 people. The state vegetable is the sweet potato. The city is home to the first state art museum, as well as the first HBCU. Shaw University. The capital of North Dakota is Bismarck, with a population of 61,300. They host one of the largest powwows in the country. Lewis and Clark were here when they were on their expedition. Apparently their zoo is surprisingly good. Next is the gross state of Ohio. The capital is Columbus, with a population of 906,000. The city is full of hipsters, has a tiny car park, and a big chocolate factory. There used to be an NFL team who actually played the first game against another NFL team. Next up is Oklahoma. The capital is, wait for it, Oklahoma City, with a population of 681,000. The city has the most man-made lakes in the country, with over 200. The first ever shopping cart was used here. They also invented the parking meter. I understand why mi oh, sorry. They also had the first radio station west of the Mississippi River. The capital of Oregon is Salem, with a population of 175,500. Two of the capital buildings have burned down. The valley, where Salem is, is known for its wine and water. President Herbert Hoover also lived here for several years. Next up is Pennsylvania, with the capital Harrisburg, which has 49,500 people. They have the biggest auto show in the country. The Hershey factory is also near here, and that's about it. Next up is the smallest state in the United States. Relatable. Rhode Island. The capital is Providence with a population of 191,000. The city has the most coffee shops and donut shops per capita. Must be a lot of white girls and cops. The city was originally named Providence Plantations. You know, it's probably a good thing that was changed. Brown University is located here. Great. More elitists. The capital of South Carolina is Columbia, with a population of 136,600 people. This was the first city named after Christopher Columbus. The city was almost named Washington, after George Washington. The city is known as Soda City, because some people call the city Cola for short. 
Their zoo has a permanent koala exhibit. The capital of South Dakota is Pierre, with a population of 13,700. Pierre is the second least populated capital city. They have one of the few National Guard museums in the country. This is the Fort Pierre Chateau site. Next is Tennessee. Your mom's the only ten I see. The capital is Nashville, which has a population of 690,000 people. Nice. Nashville has the only Parthenon replica in the world, and also has the tallest indoor sculpture in the Western Hemisphere. You might recognize it from Percy Jackson. The city is also home to Vanderbilt University and the Country Music Hall of Fame. Elvis Presley recorded a lot of songs in the city. Next is Texan's favorite state, Texas. The capital is Austin, which has a population of 962,000. It is known as the live music capital of the world. They are the only city that still operates Moonlight Tower. They have the Longhorns <clears throat> and no pro sports teams. They have the second largest capital building in the United States. The only one bigger is in D.C. Next is home of the Mormons, Utah. The capital is Salt Lake City, which has a population of 200,000. The Mormon World Headquarters are located here. In 2021, Salt Lake City was the gayest city in America. They have the only ski-in, ski-out distillery in the world. Next is Vermont. The capital is Montpelier, which has a population of 7,900. This is the smallest capital city by population. It is also the only capital city in the United States without a McDonald's. The city has the same name as one in France. The capital of Virginia is Richmond, which has a population of 227,000. They have the first electric streetcar in the country. The city is named after the town of Richmond in England, which is now a part of London. Edgar Allan Poe grew up here. The capital of Washington is Olympia, which has 46,500 people. One of their sister cities is Damascus, Syria. Olympia has a way less explosive economy, though. There used to be a lot of Native Americans here, but we kicked them out. The city has the same name as a historic city in Greece. Nothing more interesting than that. The capital of West Virginia is Charleston, with a population of 51,400. This is the largest city in West Virginia. This city, along with the state, rely a lot on the coal industry. The next state is Wisconsin. The capital is Madison, with a population of 270,000. The city is named after James Madison. It is ranked a top city to live in America. They have a lot of bikes and parks as well. The last, and certainly least, state is Wyoming. The capital is Cheyenne, which has 64,000 people. It was named after the native peoples in the area. How kind. Lots of airliners are tested at the airport in Cheyenne. Taco John's was started here. And that's it for state capital. Let me know what you want to learn about next in the U.S. geography. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And remember, you are smarter now than before you clicked on this video. See ya!